kommt auf jeden Fall aus Heidelberg, Hassan Rashid. Nächste Haltestelle, Heidelberg, Hauptbahnhof. <lacht> Next stop, Main Train Station. <lacht> 20 Minuten im Zug, 20 Minute train ride. I thought of a way to keep a smile on my face. So in the midst of public transportation, I, I stare and relate. I listen to the melody of the tracks, the laughter in the back. I see the serious, the unconcerned, the iPod users, drug abusers, those coming home from work, grandma, grandpa, kids, and college students. Sweat fills the air from those who had to... <laughs> <laughs> rush to get on time, <clears throat> huffing and puffing as I write these lines. I'm looking for some distraction other than my watch. Something like a thief to steal my attention. Trying to ignore this guy who's next to me. <laughs> Itching. <laughs> I hear a group of passengers in the back singing chants. Their voices are so dominant. Hey, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> It was a foreign language, but I would imagine it's a soccer game they came from watching. <laughs> a little scent of alcohol I smell from those with high tolerance. And standing here is so uncomfortable, it's, it's bothering. The, the outside scenery bores me, so I look around for something new. Playing games with myself, using my mind as a tool. Though I'm riding alone, I'm not, because this train is packed. Some can't even sit down like me, standing back to back. Letting my thoughts relieve me from this mm, smell of skunk. <laughs> Listening to this man next to me who starts speaking to me in drunk. You know that language we speak when we've had a little bit too much to drink? He says something like, Hey, Alta. Uh, oh, here comes this water. <laughs> no kinder, black joke. <laughs> but actually, that made me smile. <laughs> Plus, he started talking to himself. <laughs> so I stared at the clouds. <laughs> Thanks to Alta's deli, Dosenheim. <laughs> Finally, my stop. It's time to get off. Those 20 minute train rides always give me something to write about. <laughs> Who am I, what am I, or what have I become? You see, I'm an ex-slave, a runaway, now free in mind, body, and soul. Many minds, though, have expressed their desire of how they like me to return to the, yes, sir, uh, 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 thank you, master, uh, uh, can I shine your shoe? Uh, yeah, I could run faster than that rock you just threw. But see, if I go back to that, I'm a fool. If I think that I will make it to the next town before my life is stolen from me and I'm found hanging like somebody's Christmas ornament from a tree. But what am I now? Who am I? Or what have I become? Am I black? Or is that simply just the color of my skin? My friends say that my new vocabulary has altered my language and that I've begun to talk white. My, my friends say that I am white. Hmm. 
You see, my friends say that I am white because the atmosphere of my college experience has altered my appearance, my dialect, and my style. They say for the simple fact that I like white women now, that I have somehow become the jewel of their pile of black men just racing to their feet, kissing, burying, spoiling, and um, humping their meat. See, just because I don't speak the same and my game has changed and my pockets aren't thin, what, somehow I've internally lost the color of my skin? <laughs> what am I then? Or better yet, what was I when I was born? A black child to a single, unmarried black mother. See, unlike most, the definition of a bastard child immediately plagued me like a disease. And predictions were made that I would become a drug dealing, gang banging, woman beating, prison visiting, no good Negro, implementing devilish practices to myself and my community. But now, somehow this child of the streets has been given immunity from that belief. I wonder why. Well, I tell you, because see, now I got a degree. So am I now allowed to be black? <laughs> or, in the real world, is the color of my skin simply a word defined as sin, opposite of holy or unwhite by definition? Am I now a prodigy whose ambition in life is to entertain this world with my ability to jump and fight? Or will I simply just be an asset to a quota? Tell me, will I be a quota-filling brother, given the chance to work with Crayola with the rest of the colors so that um, the company can make his money and not be called a racist? <laughs> or am I over-exaggerating? What am I, who am I, or what have I become? Tell me, am I one of the few, the proud, <laughs> that made it from the ghetto? <laughs> no. See, what you need to know is that this world has been psychologically injected with these mental poisonings that has infected the way we live. You see, we're now color quota finding, looking for our identity, which is blinding our minds because we suddenly stereotype in all things at first sight. And let me ask again, am I black, African American, a Negro, or a nigger? Because <laughs> as I stand before you here, I seem to represent four figures. Yeah, I've been called a nigger in English, classified as a Negro, though ironically in Spanish, both words mean the same thing. <laughs> However, in English, one is provocative and the other is clean. Or am I multicultural because I interact with whites? Well, I know I'm not only African and American because I was not born in Africa, nor do my roots solely come from there. Yeah, as you can see, I got the hair that's somewhat similar, but guess what? My aunt, she told me she got a little Irish in her. <laughs> so I guess I do too. <laughs> Who knew? What am I? Who am I? Or what have I become? Thank you.